domestic violence is not something that it's a, it's not a good thing at all. And I won't um, even advise my worst enemy to go through such. Um, I'll advise people in such situation to walk away as fast as possible in order to be able to save themselves from such um, such um, experience. Uh, well, um, simply put, I can say when uh, intolerance is already in place and uh, injured emotion. So before you know. Uh, it results into you know, uh, unwanted circumstances. This thing is just that I don't know people that are in kind of that kind of situation. They find it so difficult to leave. I don't know why. I don't know what is the reason why they can't leave domestic violence. They can't leave that kind yeah. of a marriage or something. I don't know why. But most of them find it so difficult to leave the marriage. Ah, the best thing is to. Just leave the marriage. If it is a relationship, thank God it's a relationship, then you just separate. But if it's a marriage, you have to just leave. Just give yourself a space. It's something that if anybody's caught doing it, they should be punished severely. It's part of things that I don't like. Well, people in such situation was act fast by as in speaking up. Speak up. Because for you not to speak up, you know, it takes life. It's a, bad, it's a bad thing, I'll say. I don't support domestic violence in any way, physical, verbally, emotionally at all. Whether it's to the man, whether it's to the woman, I don't support it. So I believe if it hasn't gotten physical yet, at least reevaluate your marriage. Make sure there is no form of abuse there. In that way, both of you can enjoy your marriage. But if it has gotten physical, I believe you should seek the aid of counsellors who will settle it. And if there is no repentance, I recommend separation. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.